In an exclusive interview with NNIS defense expert Kumar Agha said that he sees Chinese President Xi Jinping's India tour as a success. He added that inviting China to invest in India was a great step forward. Agha added that China has always been looking to pump money into India since there is a big market in our country. I think it was a very successful visit in the sense it was uh, in the interest of both the countries. Uh, both were winner, India and China. We wanted a uh, number of things from China, particularly economic cooperation. You know. We had successful uh, um, agreements on a number of issues. Uh, then uh, second thing we wanted, you know, uh, China to invest in India in manufacturing sector and particularly we wanted in uh, infrastructure, modernization of railways and uh, all these sectors uh, the president has promised to invest. In. They were also looking, you know, these investment in India. China has got almost 500 billion dollars, you know, which he, they are going to invest next five years. So India is a big market. Agha said that the earlier Indian governments were formed on coalition basis, but with BJP forming a government at the centre with clear majority, China realises that PM Narendra Modi has the power to make firm decisions. The only difference, you know, earlier we used to have a coalition government and the leadership was weak. This time, you know, we have a strong leader which is backed by strong mandate. So this is the difference between the two. So that's why, you know, Chinese understand this thing, you know that Modi can take a decision. Speaking about China's continuous incursions into India, Agha said that China's expansion policy was only earning them more enemies and if they kept up with this, it would end badly for them. I think China m must have realized, you know, that its policy of expansionism is isolating China to an extent you know, because it has got problems <coughs> with all its neighbour, be it India, Vietnam, and then um, uh, Philippines, Japan, you know, these are the countries, you know, which are uh, facing serious problem from China. And the second thing, you know, it's not only, India is not alone, you know, these countries have almost form an access. Besides this, you know, if China continues with the policy of expansion, it, it will meet the same fate as that of Russia. Uh, it's not 62 anymore, you know. Our military is one of the finest, playing a very important role in uh, maintaining peace and stability globally, you know. We are, we are, we, we, India provides the biggest contingent in UN peacekeeping force, which is uh, recognized by the international community and appreciated by them. So we are not alone, you know. You can't uh, uh, get away by doing these exercises. Yes, we want peace, we want friendship, but we want also, we want China to play a greater role. We want uh, India, China, Japan, all these countries come and forward and play a constructive role in the peace and stability of uh, South Asia or Asia at large. But not this way. This cannot be accepted. Powered by NNIS.